What's going on guys? We're back in the shop. Um, so last time we got our chassis harness done, our PDM in, it all tucked up real nice in there. Today we're gonna be putting in the engine harness. Um, we got our wiring specialties engine harness, pro series harness. Um, we got some sensors here, intake air, uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure. So basically we're just gonna be slapping some sensors in and uh, routing this um, harness here. Now, uh, we'll start with the sensors. We'll get our sensors in. Um, I already put in the oil pressure sensor. That goes right down here next to the oil filter. And um, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, so let's get this harness uh, routed throughout the car. So first things first, we're just gonna send the end that plugs into the ECU through the hole there, which we already have a, our body harness through. So we'll just sneak all of our wires down in through there. So we got our harness all ran through the car there. Next thing we're gonna do is just start uh, plugging away. So we'll probably start at the farthest sensor, which would be your cast sensor here. Run the wire there and then figure out where your injector wire goes. And then you, it's gonna be a lot of unplugging and plugging to get everything routed right, but eventually you'll get there. So let's do that. Guys, we got all of our sensors plugged in. We got our uh, E85 sensor down there, running in line with our return off our fuel rail. Actually, our regulator, which is off the end of the fuel rail. We got our map sensor down here. We mounted that right on the intake. So we got all of our wires and plugs plugged in, besides a couple, which these are for the transmission. We got like a speed sensor, reverse sensor. Oh, let's see what we got for an ECU here. So we went with a, a Link Extreme ECU. So actually, I won this last year in the uh, Pro-Am series at Lake Erie. So let me open it up real quick. She is. Nice. Very simple. Should be a mounting bracket. And then our plug to plug it in the computer. So let's get this thing mounted. All right, so I lied. I just got everything plugged in. Um, I got my dash plugged in. So I got a Heltec IC7. Uh, we connected the battery just temporarily. See if everything works. Let's see here. Got our key. Yep. Here we go. We got power to our dash. It's good. There we go. Let's see if our little turn signals here work. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. 
All right, so let's uh, keep plugging away. Um, I do have to find a mounting spot for this. That will probably be next on the list. It's gotta go somewhere tucked up under there, but I still wanna leave room for my blower motor, which is going right there too, so. Let's find a spot. All right, guys, we're at the moment now where we can load on our base map onto our Link ECU. Now this is a very special base map because I did not make it and no human made it either. This is straight from ChatGBT. Um, I basically messaged ChatGBT and I said, can you guys make me a base map for my SR20 DET? Um, and then it started asking me a bunch of questions. It says, does it have VCT? Yes, it does. What size turbo? What size cams? Um, is it have internals? Uh, what size injectors? What sensors? Four bar? Stuff like that. So um, I'll show you on the screen right here um, exactly our conversation I have with Chad GBT. So this is just a base map. So this is just to start the car. And uh, I've never seen this done before. So I mean, hopefully it works out. If it doesn't work out, you're welcome for trying. And then now you know not to do it. But uh, I think it's gonna be okay. It's just a base map and then uh, the car is gonna go to a dyno and actually be dyno tuned. So I do not recommend doing poles on this tune or anything like that. This is simply to start the car. All right, so, a little disclaimer there. All right, so let's see what happens. We're going to load up our Link ECU with our base map that we got from, and it actually sends it in the file right there, a zipped file that you can load right into the G5 PC link. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. So we set our inputs and outputs on our Link ECU to our current sensors that are in the car. So basically, Orange Specialties gives you a sheet that says all the uh, your inputs and outputs here. So we got that all programmed in. As far as the ChatGBT base tune, we are currently just using the table. So we're using the fuel table from ChatGBT. And I basically just copy and pasted the table, the fuel table, as well as the timing table. So now we're gonna set base timing and hopefully from there it'll start. All right guys, after a bunch of messing around with the uh, file, basically ChatGBT GBT did everything from the fuel tables to ignition tables to even uh, sensor wiring. Um, we got it, we got it going. Let's see what we got here. Choppy. Little rich. So she's running a little rich, but she is running, which is awesome. Love to hear it. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, ChatGPT, because I literally could not have done this without it, that. Well, could have done it with a tuner, but we don't need a tuner. Also, shout out to my tuner, Matt, for helping me out along the way, too, because uh, he definitely helped me with my oil pressure issue. I thought I didn't have oil pressure, and uh, he helped me calibrate that to the software here, so. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I would say big success, because we got it running, and I'm stoked. Um, so yeah, till the next one, we'll see ya. Choppy.